Hello everybody, good morning, welcome back again to my video and I hope everybody is fine, healthy, wherever you are. And today we will be talking about things around Jakarta again, yeah? So it is about one of the most popular musical band or group groups yeah, <laughs> in Jakarta and they are Batawi people and usually during their performance they hold some kinds of musical instruments and we can usually see them during certain events or occasions around Jakarta so do you know what it is? yeah it is Tanjidor, the art of Batawi's music Tanjidor is one of the most popular and unique musical groups yeah which is usually done by the Batawi people and the next now yeah, Batawi's special music art so how many people are there one two three four five six and seven yes right there are seven people there right, in the group so Tanjido yeah if you see their performance if you pay attention to their group uh, there are usually seven to ten people yeah in a group but it can be more than 10 people sometimes and then each person yeah each person holds a uh, special musical instruments yeah for example drum and then clarinet tuba and more so everyone is equipped with certain kind of musical instruments later we will get to know what musical instruments that are usually played by the Tanjidor group here yeah? and next so the nature of the Tanjidor music is cheerful yeah it is cheerful music so that's why that's why it is to entertain people yeah because the music is cheerful and fine so uh, the presence of Tanjido performance is usually to entertain people, yeah, during certain occasions or events. And yeah. Next, when is it usually played? Yeah, we can see the Tanjido performance, yeah, sometimes, but not every day because uh, the groups perform this performance only on certain occasions or events so when when can we see the Tanjiro performance yeah but Thai people sorry it's a typo P E O P L E yeah so but Thai people usually perform Tanjiro to welcome guests and then celebrate national ceremonies celebrate religious or national holidays and celebrate feasts so uh, especially if you live in Jakarta during national holidays or religious holidays sometimes we can see uh, their performance yeah sometimes they perform on the street or in the village or on the stage yeah sometimes so when when can we see when can we see them? Yeah, we can see them. Yeah, during certain occasions or events. Next, what is that? <laughs> the songs. Yeah, we are talking about the songs that are usually played. Yeah, the first one, the songs that are. That were played in the past during 1920 era. So let's go. Let's get back to the past here yeah, in 1920. So I took a note picture here. 
I do know the year when they played this Tanjiro performance. This is just illustration. And yeah. So let's go back to the 1920 era. So in the past, the Tanjiro personal personals, yeah, personals, they played uh, the 1920s songs during the Dutch colonialisms. And what are the songs that they were played at the time? Yeah, during 1920s era. Yeah, these are the songs. Yeah. I don't know these songs because uh, these are past songs, yeah, the songs that were played by the Tanjiro group in the past during Dutch colonialism. Was Tak Tak, Wellmes, Battalion, Bananas, Delphi, Chakranagara, and Clemson. I've never heard these kind of songs before, yeah, and maybe you have never heard them too. Because these songs are very old, yeah, during the Dutch colonialisms. And then now, yeah, now, yeah, this is the present day now. Yeah, the Tanjiro performance can perform on the street. And these are the songs that they play now. Until now, so they play. Oh, Jali Jali, <laughs> sorry, it should be, it should be Jali Jali, yeah? Sulan, Cente Manis, Kicir Kicir, Stambul Persi, Keramat Karam, and Sirih Kuning. Yeah, I often heard Sirih Kuning, yeah? Yeah, next time we are also going to sing this song with your teacher too, yeah? So, yeah, jadi ini adalah lagu-lagu yang sering di... Uh, dimainkan oleh kelompok Tanjidor ya yeah. in 1920 ya yeah, pada tahun 1920 pada saat uh, masa kolonial Belanda ya yeah, Tanjidor Group kelompok Tanjidor kan mereka memainkan lagu-lagu lama ya yeah, lagu-lagu Belanda saat itu nah, but now we, they no longer uh, perform uh, those old songs, yeah, but they now play these songs. Okay, next. Yeah, what about the origin? The Tanjidor, the origin. Origin means asal usul. So, if we're talking about the origin, yeah, the word. Tanjidor itself was taken from a Portuguese word. So it was taken from the word Tangidor, yeah, which is a Portuguese word. Jadi kata Tanjidor sendiri itu sebetulnya diambil dari uh, bahasa Portugis ya. Namanya Tangidor, yeah. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is the language, yeah, Tangador. And the country, yeah, Portuguese. Uh, we, people in the past, call the country Portuguese, yeah. Kalau sekarang itu namanya adalah Portugal, yeah. Portugal. Portugal and Portuguese, they're the same. Yeah, how did, how did the Tangidor group exist ya, bagaimana kok uh, kelompok Tanjidor itu bisa ada ya ya, it is also related to the Dutch colonialism ya juga berhubungan dengan pada saat penjajahan Belanda so at the time ya, so during the Dutch colonialism so the Dutch people, they collected Slaves, yeah, especially slaves who could play the musical instruments. Jadi pada saat itu orang-orang Belanda, yeah, especially the Dutch aristocrats, yeah, khususnya uh, para bangsa Belanda itu mengumpulkan budak-budak, yeah, yang khususnya ada di Jawa. 
the slaves who could play musical instrument ya budak-budak yang bisa uh, memainkan alat musik and then later on they were combined they were joined into a group of music yeah which consisted of gamelan wind instruments and percussions uh, wind instruments wind instruments we call it in Indonesian as alat musik piyup and then percussions yeah percussions uh, we call it as in Indonesian our language alat musik pukul jadi betul mas ulang ya Nah, jadi pada saat itu ya orang-orang Belanda khususnya para bangsa Belanda pada saat itu mereka mengumpulkan para budak ya di area sekitar Jawa para budak yang khususnya bisa bermain alat musik ya kemudian mereka digabungkan menjadi sebuah kelompok ya kelompok musik yang terdiri dari orang-orang yang memainkan gamelan alat musik tiu dan alat musik pukul atau tabu. And then they were asked to entertain the Dutch, yeah, uh, during certain events, occasions, and feasts. Yeah, they were feasts just to entertain them. Nah, kemudian mereka disuruh atau diminta untuk menghibur mereka, ya, yeah, dengan memainkan alat musik itu uh, pada uh, occasions tertentu, ya, yeah, pada saat tertentu, misalnya ada pesta ya, atau ada perayaan tertentu mereka diminta untuk menghibur mereka dengan memainkan alat musik itu so that's the origin ya yeah, how a tangible existed in the past ya yeah. jadi seperti itu ya asal usulnya bagaimana tangidor itu bisa ada ya di masa lalu so it has been existed during the dutch colonialism okay next Still, we're still talking about the tangible origin. So, after the slavery ended, yeah, the Batali people, yeah, especially, uh, they were no longer slaves. So, uh, they wanted to play that musical instruments again. So, they decided to keep playing the musical instruments. Jadi, ya, setelah masa perbudakan selesai pada saat itu, ya, nah, karena mereka sudah terbiasa ya menghibur orang-orang Belanda pada saat itu, dan setelah perbudakan selesai, ya, they still have desire to play the musical instruments. Mereka masih mempunyai uh, keinginan untuk bermain alat musik tersebut. So, they collected all the musical instruments that they had, and then, They played it until now. Yeah. Alat musiknya dikumpulkan semua, ya. Yeah. Dan mereka masih membentuk kelompok dan sampai sekarang mereka masih memainkan alat musik tanjidor seperti itu. Oke okay, ya. Yeah. So that was the origin of how tanjidor existed in the past. Now uh, we are going to talk about the tangible musical instruments yeah the musical instruments that are usually played by the tangible personnel tangible personnel so i have told you before yeah there are two kinds of uh, musical instruments in tangible group yeah the first one is wind instruments alat musik tiup yeah for example Ya, what is it? Ini apa ya? Ya, this is trumpet. And then next one, what is it? Ya, trombone. There are still other wind instruments, ya. Yeah. Next one, ya, clarinet. Ya, tuba. Okay, the next one. So the shape, yeah, this one it's usually big, yeah. This is called sousaphone. Sousaphone. 
Yeah, this is new for me because I have never heard this kind of musical instrument before. Ini mungkin jarang di gunakan oleh orang-orang ya karena biasanya yang memakai alat musik ini itu adalah uh, kelompok atau grup musik tertentu ya misalnya Tanjidor. And then next one, yeah, this is so big. Yeah, usually hold. It is usually hold by a big person too. It is euphonium. You euphonium. <laughs> yeah. Now next one. Uh, percussions. Yeah. So in a group of tanjidor, uh, there will be people who play percussions. Yeah. Dalam kelompok tanjidor nanti ada. Ada harus ada orang-orang yang bermain alat musik pukul ya. For example, yeah, this is yeah drum, snare, this one drum bass. Okay, next one. Yeah, how do you call that? Uh, we we usually can see this in the drums, yeah. We call it. We call them symbols. Symbols. Yeah. You hit the two sides together and bang like that. And it biasanya juga bisa ditemukan di alat musik drum ya. Symbols. Oh yeah, it's done. Okay, guys. So uh, that's all. Yeah. So we have talked about tanjidor. And we have finished discussing all things about Tanjidor. So, uh, at the end, I want you to write down any important information related to Tanjidor, yeah, Tanjidor groups, yeah, in your notebook. You may write write down about, yeah, the origin of the Tanjidor and then the history and then uh, when when it's usually played, yeah, the Tanjidor performance and then. The kinds of musical instruments that are usually played in the Tanjidor Tanjidor performance. Jadi setelah anda menonton video ini, anda boleh uh, tulis ya segala macam informasi penting yang tadi sudah dijelaskan. Ya, bisa tulis di dalam buku catatan ya tentang yang pertama, the first one, write about the origin. Ya, tulis tentang asal usul dari Tanjidor itu seperti apa, and then. Kapan biasanya tanji dari itu dimainkan, and then the kinds of the musical instruments, ya macam-macam alat musik yang dipakai dalam tanji dari itu apa aja, and and that's all, I guess. So uh, that's all for uh, today's Spell BJ video. Thank you very much for listening and watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.